What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just have the fan TV, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the videos. Now, let's get into the big news of the day, man. Uh, the Cardinals released DeAndre Hopkins, didn't get any value for him, didn't trade, didn't get a trade for him, didn't get a fifth round, third round pick, and nothing. Straight up cut DeAndre Hopkins. And in turn, they got, um, I guess one thing they did receive is a, I think it was like a 22 or $24 million cap hit uh, against the cap this year because they didn't cut him post June 1st. Um, so obviously the Cardinals are, you know, tanking. I mean, they have probably what's projected to be the top two picks in the draft for next year. So uh, we'll see what happens there with that. All right. Now, as far as the only Hopkins goes, obviously big time receiver, elite receiver. Um, but the question is, do the Ravens need DeAndre Hopkins, right? Is this a, is this a move that the Ravens should make? Um, for DeAndre Hopkins, I think that obviously Bills, Chiefs, Ravens are all in the mix, all in consideration. Uh, I saw something about the Patriots, but I don't know. Bill O'Brien's there. They had their fallout in Houston. Mac Jones is the quarterback. And also, I can't say the Patriots are close to winning. And so that doesn't really make too much sense to me. Um, if we're going to say teams that's, I guess, more of a, a, a wild card kind of team, if I'm DeAndre Hopkins, I'm seriously considering the Detroit Lions, right? Because the Lions coming off a, a good year for them last year. They're ascending. They got better in the offseason. Also, let's talk about their offense. You know, big role in the offense. They, they need an X, an X receiver type. They need that kind of guy. Uh, the NFC is weak. It's really the 49ers, the Eagles, and that's it. Everything else is up for grabs. So AFC is loaded. It's like 10 good teams in the AFC right now. And also creative offensive coordinator, right? Ben Johnson had, played, had opportunities to become a head coach this offseason. He decided to say another year, be the officer coordinator there in, in uh, Detroit. If I'm DeAndre Hawkins, I'm at least considering the Lions because I think they're close, right? And like I said, the weak NFC plays a part in that. So, you know, hey, I, I, I would consider that an option if I was him. But the Ravens go. As far as the Ravens go, right? The Ravens need DeAndre Hawkins. The Ravens do not need DeAndre Hawkins. Need? No. Should they go after him? Absolutely. They should absolutely go after DeAndre Hawkins. Now, it's interesting because <laughs> the Ravens have never had an embarrassment of riches at wide receiver. So this would be completely new, completely uncharted territory for, for Ravens fans. We've never had a wide receiver room where we're like, we're worried about the fourth guy not getting snaps. I know there's people on Twitter right now saying that, oh, well, what does this do for Rashad Bateman's development? What does this do for you just drafted his eight flowers in the first round? And those are all legitimate concerns. That is a legitimate argument. Uh, but you're trying to win games, right? And uh, with the OBJ in the mix as well, Bateman and OBJ haven't don't have the best injury record um, as of the last couple of years. We got to be completely honest about that, right? Injuries can strike any team at any time. Uh, injuries are completely random, but if you can get out in front of it, you should. And signing the other Hawkins would be getting out in front of it. Now, do I think the Ravens will sign the other Hawkins? I, I don't. Uh, that's just my opinion. If they do, I will, I'll do the video say I was completely wrong. But I don't. Just because he's going to want to be paid, right? Now, obviously, he wants to win. You know, he wants to win. But I don't see DeAndre Hawkins taking a big, big-time pay cut. He probably will be paid less than what the Cardinals were paying, and that's a big reason why he was cut, right? Nobody wanted to trade for that salary uh, and restructure their, their, their contract, restructure the contract, and give him a draft pick on top of that. Nobody wanted to do that. Cool. That don't mean he's going to play for free. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think that's still to be a, a, a factor. I mean, the Ravens are, have $15 million dedicated to Odell Beckham, which is, could, could go up to $18 million if he hits those incentives. So now how much are they going to pay DeAndre Hopkins, who has been more productive than Odell Beckham over the last couple of years, right? So that's where it gets a little tricky for me, all right? Um, also, you know, I'm not trying to be negative about it, but the Ravens have other needs, like, Defensive line is a real concern for the Ravens. I'm, you know, I keep saying it. I know Ravens fans are saying, "Well, if we just outscore everybody 45 points, hey, what they gonna do? But what they gonna do about it?" Hey, listen, that sounds good, right? But at some point, you're gonna need the defensive line to do their thing, because this is really how you win the NFL. Lamar Jackson brought it up right in his press conference. Run, run it can only take you so far. So, to win, you need to be able to throw the football effectively, have a quarterback that can throw the football effectively, have wide receivers that can get open, have an offensive coordinator that can scheme guys open. The Ravens right now seem to have all those pieces in place. They definitely got the quarterback. They have the wide receivers. They, hopefully, they have the play caller, right? We like Ty Munkin. Hopefully, it comes through for that. Um, but on the flip side of that, you also need guys who can rush the passer, get after the QB. 
right? I mean, I even I look at I look at the Chiefs, right? The Chiefs had an abundance of weapons before you with Ty, with Tyree Kill and all this. They still had Frank Clark. They still had Chris Jones. Last year they lose Tyree Kill. The offense is still great. Excuse me. They still got Chris Jones. They got George Call out. They drafted. So you know he played well. Okay, cool, great. Right now the Ravens are based on all projections. The only players that we can say have real pass rush ability that we've seen for the Ravens, right? Matt Abike and Odafe Owe in spurts, right? I know I know Ojabo had a strip sack versus the Bengals. I know that, but let's just say consistency. So I would love to move for DeAndre Hopkins. I really would. You know what I'm saying? And there isn't a outside linebacker. There isn't a cornerback that is the same level of player at their position that DeAndre Hopkins is at wide receiver. And I, I completely admit that. Um but you know the Ravens. <laughs> it's so it's so crazy saying the Ravens to turn down a receiver, but it's almost like you want to have enough on on both sides of the ball, right? Injuries could happen, and then you're like, well, they should have signed Jerry Hawkins because now all these players are hurt. You never know. But I would say this, right? The Ravens are gonna have to stop somebody, okay? Um, and a pass rush is a big big deal about that, all right? Um, Mike McDonald. As a good defensive coordinator, he likes to send a lot of guys just straight, you know, pass rush, maybe games on the defensive line. He's going to need guys who can do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's tough. It's tough because I want the Ravens to get DeAndre Hopkins. I really do. But to me, the only drawback, I'm not really even thinking about while, you know, the the growth of Bateman, the growth of uh, Zay Flowers is a kind of a concern. That's really not the top of the list for me. I think those guys will be be lucky to learn from Odell Beckham and DeAndre Hopkins. Take this opportunity for this year to learn from those guys, uh, you know, uh, those veteran guys who have put up numbers in this league and how you can get better. Take advantage of that. My thing is how much would the Ravens have to pay for DeAndre Hopkins and then what, what other moves would they be able to do with whatever cap space is left? That's it. Now, obviously, they can restructure contracts. They got Mark Andrews. They can restructure. They got Marlon Humphrey. They can restructure. There's guys on the roster. Hell, Ronnie Stanley again, right? Where you can restructure to make moves. Right now, the Ravens, I think they said, have about $12 million in cash space, which is honestly more than I thought they did. But then I remembered, obviously, they signed Lamar Jackson. So that changes the cap hit completely. Um, so, so yeah. So, you know, that was obviously a great move. But um, do the Ravens need DeAndre Hopkins? Probably not. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Probably not. Should the Ravens absolutely go after him? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So it's kind of tough. I'm a little bit stuck in the conundrum. I know a lot of Ravens fans are going to say 100% make the move. You got to do it. Right? And um, if we didn't have Odell Beckham, I'll be right there. I, I really would be right there. Um, it's just the fact that how much money they paid Odell and how much money they got to pay DeAndre Hopkins. Right? DeAndre Hopkins, he could go somewhere on a team friendly deal. It's very, very, it's possible. But if I'm him, I, I want to make my money, but I also want to I also want to win. So you know it's it's tough. I think I mentioned the Lions earlier. The Lions have something like the third most cap space in the NFL, right? They're in prime position to pick up a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's tough, right? Um, I think the Ravens should go after DeAndre Hopkins and see what happens. The rumors are that they are interested. Of course, they were and interested before the draft. So why wouldn't they be interested right now? I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Either way, I'm not going to be upset. I'm not going to be super disappointed if he goes off and signs somewhere else. And I'm going to be super excited if he comes here to the Ravens and give the Ravens not just the best wide receiver core the Ravens have had on their team, probably the best wide receiver core in the NFL for the next season. I mean, we have to think about what kind of guys, what kind of team would have the kind of four wide receivers the Ravens would have, you know. That's a crazy, crazy thought. Something that I never thought I'd say about the Ravens having a wild receiving core that's going to compete with the very, very best at the top of the league. And the sign DeAndre Hopkins would give that to the Ravens. Um, so if it happens, I am not going to be upset about it at all. So um, anyway, that's my thoughts on it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Yes, no, sign DeAndre Hopkins. We'll talk about it in the comment section, man. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.